Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay yung application of equations in equilibrium. So usually, yung members na that are... Usually, the members of the structure are connected together in such a way that the joints can be assumed as pins. Building frames and trusses are typical examples that are often constructed in this manner. Provided a pin-connected coplanar structure is properly constrained and contains no more supports or members that are necessary to prevent collapse, the forces acting at the joints and supports can be determined by applying the three equations of equilibrium in each member. So, kung iko-consider natin to, so we can see that we have two reactions here at point A. And one reaction at point C. But if we are going to isolate the members of the truss, so this is for the member AB. This is for the mem member DE. And this is for the member BC. So we have... So, assuming that this is pin connected, sa B, we have two reactions. Dito sa point A, so since may hinge tayo dyan, so two reactions, then meron tayo dyan. And dito sa point D, we have two reactions. And at this point E, we have two reactions. So, ito din yun. And in here, yung reaction natin dito ay dito ay kukontrahin lang natin. So, ito yun. And we have at point C one reaction. So, we have two. We have two here. We have two here. We have two here and we have one here. For the number of reactions natin, that is equal to 9. And for the number of members, we have 3. So we can say that 9 is equal to 3 times 3 and 9 is equal to 9. So therefore, kaya nating isolve itong mga reactions na to using the equations of equilibrium. How about this one? So, if we are going to isolate this, we have the member AB. We have here the member BC. And for the reactions at point A, so since this is hinge supported, we have two reactions here. And at point B, so we have two reactions here. And at point C, we also have two reactions here. So, for the number of reactions, we have R is equal to. So, meron tayong dalawa dito, dalawa dito, and dalawa dito. So, that is equal to 6. And your N is equal to 2. So, for the relationship of the R to the 3N, so, 6 is equal to 3 times 2, and 6 is equal to 6, so that is statically determinate. Ibig sabihin, we can make use of the three equations of equilibrium in order for us to solve for the number of unknowns. So, for our example, we are asked to determine the reactions on the beam shown in the figure. Makikita natin dito, at point A, we have two reactions, a horizontal reaction, AX, and a vertical reaction, AY. And at point B, we have one reaction, BY. So, if we are going to check for the determinacy of this beam, so our R is equal to 3. And your n is equal to 1, so 3 is equal to 3. This is statically determinate. Ibig sabihin, we can make use of the three equations of equilibrium 
the summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero, the summation of forces vertical is equal to zero, and the summation of moment is equal to zero in order for us to solve for the AX, the AY, and the BY. Now, for our load here, the 265 kN directed at 60 degrees, no, with an inclination of 60 degrees, Itong 265 ay mayroon tong dalawang components. So we have the FY and the FX. Now let us first solve for the value of the FY and the FX. So FY is equal to 200. 65 kilonewton since that is opposite of 60 degrees so that is sine of 60 degrees that would give us fy is equal to 229.5 kilonewton and for the fx so fx is equal to 265 since the x component of our load is adjacent of 60 degrees so therefore that is cosine of 60 degrees so f of x is equal to 132.5 kilonewton now in order for us to solve for the reactions kung makikita natin dito if we are going to summate forces vertical is equal to zero wala tayong masusolve since meron tayong dalawang vertical reaction. If we are going to summate forces horizontal, that is equal to zero, taking the direction to the right as positive, then we can say that AX is positive because we assumed that AX is directed to the right minus the X component of the 265 kN and that is 132.5 kN that is equal to zero. So therefore, AX is equal to 132.5 kilonewton. So since yung result natin is positive, meaning tama, yung direction natin no, sa ating assumption that AX is directed to the right. Therefore, AX is directed to the right. So dito, I have to remind you na walang mali sa assumption. Because if we assumed that AX, so try natin ha, if we assumed that AX is directed to the left, so kung isosolve natin siya, summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero, taking the direction to the right as positive. Therefore, since our assumption is AX no, directed to the left, so that is negative AX, and the component of 265 is also directed to the left. So that is negative 132.5 kilonewton is equal to zero. So therefore, your AX is equal to negative 132.5 kilonewton. Yung negative na to signifies na mali yung assumption natin. AX is not directed to the left but it is directed to the right. So, AX is equal to 132.5 kilonewton directed to the right. So, kontrahin lang natin yung assumption natin. At makikita natin dito na kahit magkaiba yung assumption natin, pareho pa rin yung magiging sagot natin. I have to remind you this. Sabi nga sa Bisaya, okay ra mag-assume. Pero never mag-expect. Okay, so if we are going to solve for either the AY or the BY, we have two options. Kung yung gusto nating isolve is si BY, we have to summate moment at point A. But if we are going to solve for AY first, then we have to solve for the moment at point B. So, titake na lang natin si point A. So, summation of moment at A is equal to 0. Taking the clockwise direction as positive, then we have 
the clockwise rotation para sa ating Fy, that is Fy multiplied by the perpendicular distance, that's 3 meters. And the Fx will rotate counterclockwise, so that's negative Fx multiplied by the distance perpendicular to Fx, so that's 0 0.3 meter. And for the By, we have counterclockwise rotation, so that's negative By multiplied by the distance perpendicular, that's 4 meters. And as you can see, we have here a 70 kilonewton meter moment. So, that is positive 70. So, bakit hindi na natin siya multiply ng distance? Kasi moment na siya. At bakit hindi natin siya sinama doon kanina sa pag-solve natin ng summation of forces horizontal? Kasi nga, siya ay moment. So, masasama lang natin siya if we are solving for the moment. So, Fy is 229.5 29.5 kN multiplied by 3 meters minus Fx, sinosolve natin kanina, that is 132.5 kN multiplied by 0.3 minus By times 4 plus 70 is equal to 0. So, solving for the value of the By, that would give us By is equal to 179.69 kN. Since positive yung lumabas na sagot natin, and we assumed that the BY is directed upward, so meaning this is directed upward. In order for us to solve for the value of the AY, we have to summate forces vertical is equal to zero, taking the upward direction as positive. So we have AY minus the y component of the 265 so that's fy plus the by which is directed upward is equal to zero so substituting the value we have a y minus 229.5 kilonewton plus 179.69 kilonewton that is equal to zero so a y is equal to 49.81 kilonewton. Since yung lumabas sa computation natin is positive, therefore, tama yung assumption natin that AY is directed upward.